Ooh. <laughs> hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Josie. Hello, welcome, hi. So yeah, I have not posted in the last two weeks and it's not like me because I like to post at least once a week if anything. I try my best to do two a week but for the last two weeks I've not really been feeling myself with uni, work, other things so I didn't want to post and like I want to post just for the sake of posting um i'd like to actually enjoy my content and make sure you guys enjoy it as well because if i'm not enjoying filming it then i really do you'll enjoy watching it but anyway guys i am just gonna jump right in we're doing a little chill get ready with me i'm going out for lunch um of course take away because we can't sit in or anything because of covid finger crossed that changes very soon i've got such high hopes and i know a lot of people don't but if we could please all just manifest it that'd be really good also we might hear a little bit of background noise because for some reason the people up the hill are like cutting down trees. I don't really know. I'm just gonna get right into it. I'm really excited to do my makeup because it's such a lovely day outside and for some reason, well I know that a lot of people feel like this, when the weather's nice you feel so much better um, and it's literally there's like three clouds in the sky. I bought ring lights, um, I bought like Hollywood light bulbs for in my mirror and like they keep falling off like during the night I keep getting like attacked by light bulbs it's really scary. <laughs> Sorry I keep like adding things on and not getting on with it but I bit my gum yesterday and it's extremely sore so if you see me speak a little bit funny it's just in case I bite it and if I bite it I'll probably cry on camera because it's bloody sore. So I've already moisturised, I've already lip balmed. I'm just gonna do a primer first and I use the Ordinary High Adherence Silicone Primer. This is one of the best primers I've ever tried. Um, I really like it. So if you're looking for a good be- that just did not go on right. If you're looking for a good primer I really recommend this and this was like a fiver or something so it's really good value for money. <laughs> I always wanted to like get ready with me but I feel like they're not like the best viewed in my channel but I really like filming them, I really like watching them so who cares <laughs> but I hope he's doing big and running. Um, and as you can see my skin has been really red and spotty. I honestly do not know why. It's really stressed me out and I feel like stress is the cause of it and because I'm getting stressed about my spots it's making it worse but oh, there's some days it's really bad and there's some days it's really good it's just really annoying so we got that on we'll let that kind of settle in i've also wetted my beauty blender in the shower it smells like my shampoo <laughs> anyways i've got a few couple new makeup bits nothing too crazy oh and as you can see i've eventually took my eyelashes off it took me a while but they're eventually all off and they were quite sore actually um so i do look really bold i do apologize if this is the first time you'll see me with the eyelashes on Lockdown's made me like the ugliest I think I could ever be. Like everybody's glowing up in lockdown. I am not. Which is quite sad. <laughs> I'm just adding this L'Oreal Glow Mon Amour. I am not pronouncing that right. It's like a, just a glow highlighter, like liquid highlighter. I'm just gonna blend it in on my beauty blender. I actually really like this, but like I, ha I add like the smallest amount because I feel like I don't want an actual be a disc glow. Um, I'm going to eyebrows. Eyebrows is like one of my first ever steps when I do makeup. I don't know why the highlighter. I think I'm just like running. So yeah, I've actually, I've been using the VO5 like styling wax to like style my eyebrows up, but they never hold. So I've moved to doing like hairspray, which I used to do ages and ages ago. And I actually think it works quite well. I just have to find my thing. See, because I obviously get my eyelashes done like every two weeks normally. I've got so many of these um normally i would like reuse them and take them back because of covid and stuff and try not to um but i've got so many of these it's really good for when you're styling eyebrows and i use they got to be glued hairspray not to be mistaken for gorilla glue did you say yes or no yeah it's quite cold outside actually is it i'm just gonna wait till that little kind of settles in and then go in with the next pencil this is one of my favorite eyebrow pencils because the pencil is literally so thin like it's literally so thin and i really like it because it's like quite precise and um, it also comes with a brush as well which i don't really use don't really use it often but it's quite good because it's quite like dense i'm just going to fill these in quite lightly okay do my eyebrows i don't know if you can i don't know if you are like me but when you do your eyebrows it's not like the full final look you need to carve them out and then fix them i feel like that just makes them look easier and nicer maybelline fit me shade 06 oh 
just like went over my dress up. Oopsie. Just did it again. So today is the 22nd of February, so of course it's nearly March, which is really exciting, but at the same time it's like, we still can't do anything, so that was a boring point. But Boris Johnson is giving it an announcement tonight, I don't know what time it might be, he's giving an announcement, um, to see what's happening for March, I think. And of course I don't live in England, but he's still my Prime Minister. So basically whatever he says, Nicola just follows. Um, and I'm actually praying that it's good news because if not, I genuinely do not want, like, I don't even want to think about the future. Like, right now, the future is what's giving me hope. Like, um, like, my birthday's in April, right? Quite the start of the April, right? Quite the start of April. Near the beginning of April and, I mean, I'll finish it after I do my race because I need to concentrate. My mum, um, so... I've been doing this thing on like my Snapchat private story and it's like I've been trying these beanies flavoured coffee because I got like a 12 pack of like crazy flavoured coffees and every day I try one. Today's is Amaretto Almond. Let's see what it tastes like. My mum brought it up by the way. <laughs> and she's mourning that I filled the sugar bowl. Honestly, you want to win? Now we're going to just go on to foundation and I don't know what foundation to use because I've been trying to scrub my tan off and it's really hard to scrub off. If you've watched my haul, I'll put the eye card if you want to watch it. I bought this Tanologist self tan and water and I've been, I've used it like three times now but it's so hard to go off. Like it's extremely difficult and you think that's a good thing so it lasts longer but like it doesn't last long. It just like disappears but clings to your knuckles and all that it's just so strange so i wouldn't buy again if i'm honest but anyway i'm just gonna use it up because it was like 14 pound <laughs> like i've got a mixture of foundations but like i just don't know the cause of color i think i'll just do this one and i might mix it i'll put this on first and see how it looks okay my wee trick that i've been doing actually is using like a darker concealer on like my red spots because i've got quite a few because i feel like no matter what foundation i use if it's nars milani maybelline l'oreal no matter what foundation i use they just don't cover they're just too powerful <laughs> i've been doing this to like get extra coverage I'm just gonna go on with my foundation whilst we're here anyway i use l'oreal infallible and i know so many people that love this foundation but it's just not really doing it much for me i don't know why i like it but i do like it but like it's not the best one i've ever tried i actually prefer maybelline superstay but i'm like really low on that so i'm just gonna use this one i use a little shade 125 natural rose i feel like it is a little shade too darker from a natural skin tone um but obviously when i got tan on they'll match in don't worry doesn't even cover up my spots and it's so frustrating it's like what's, why am I paying all this money for makeup when it doesn't even work you know it's like tricks let me know this shade does not match my skin tone I'm sorry I feel like it's been really dark I really apologize if it has I've did my foundation a little mix my little bit of no I mixed some NARS sheer glow on it just on my cheeks to make it a little bit more full coverage um I was gonna do something different there but anyway gonna just highlight some of my concealer that i'm really low on and then i'm gonna go back in it with an other concealer that was a little bit darker just kind of dab it on areas that i feel like need more coverage i always leave the under eyes to last i don't know why i feel like it covers more i've blended it a lot down my neck and I feel like it's been fine now, but see when you first put foundation on and you see like the difference, you're like, whoa. <laughs> I think it's really hard to get a foundation, foundation match. My, I'm just going in with that powder really lightly. Um, I was talking about my birthday earlier, I didn't finish what I was talking about. And um, what I was trying to say is, is I'm holding on to hope that for my birthday this year, I can do stuff because I didn't do anything for my birthday last year. I can use Gavin last year for my birthday. Um, so I'm really hoping I can at least go out for dinner or even lunch, like to sit in a natural restaurant to eat lunch um, for my birthday this year. I would really like to have maybe a little get together in a garden if that's allowed. 
I'll just have to see but this is what's really like making me excited for like summer or whatever because I'm like if I can have something for my birthday I'll be so grateful so um that's why I'm like hoping mm. that hoping lockdown will be lifted kind of reasonably soon so in the time my birthday comes in April everything will be sorted I've also forgot to cream corn to her but I'll just leave that out because I don't really think it does anything I'm using the Too Faced Chocolate Soli bronzer which is really hard to open I think really love this bronzer though if you're looking for a bronzer um I really recommend this one tell me below when your birthday is and we'll see if you all have any birthday twins in the comments that'll be fun what I've been doing as well actually is where is it using just a little fluffy brush in my bronzer and just going around my eyes because I feel like there's such a big gap from my, my bronzed face and my eye sockets so don't know if I'll just bronze it up so now we're on to everything else <laughs> We'll do eyes, like mascara and that, because I have to wear mascara now because I've got eyelashes, which is so sad. Um, I bought this eyelash curler in the first lockdown when my eyelashes were took off, and then I gave it to Alana because I'm like, oh, I won't use it. I've got my eyelashes back, and then obviously I had to take it back off her. <laughs> that, and then use Last Sensational. I actually quite like this, and it's quite good for waterproof. Like, it holds quite well. Yeah, so I did, did my mascara, and now we're back to blush and highlight. My favourite part of the makeup, like I feel like, like my makeup's fine, I'd say, but when you do blush and highlight, it just delicious. Like it just looks so good. I always do highlight before blush. I don't know why I just do that. So Mac Soft and Gentle, a little bit of setting spray on my brush or even my face, but I'll do my brush because I've just did mascara. I actually need a new highlighter brush because I feel like this is like artificial and it's like not very good. Like it's like actual plastic. We'll do is get a smaller brush and we'll go on the tips of them. But this is the Weaver palette from my sister because she left it here and I just didn't realise. It's a Coral Spectrum Zoeva palette and it has really pretty colours in it. I really love this colour so I'm just going to use this one for my cheeks. Um, it's a really pretty colour I think. I feel like every brush I, blush I own is like this colour. Like not a bright pink but like a I guess you should say it's like a dusky pink. Also put it on my nose and my forehead. So I feel like it just makes it all look nicer. <laughs> now it's lips. Favourite part as well. Everything's just my favourite part at this point. I change lip combo every single time. Same with blush. I change blush every time. Most of the time anyway. I'm going to use LA Ghetto. It's um, the shade Sugar and Spice. Quite love this. It's like two pound or something. It's brilliant. I've got Jamie Genevieve's brand Vive. Love, love, love her lip liner. I've got this lip liner and it's like a dark brown. It's in the shade Bark. Really love it. But the lipstick's a little bit funny because it's super light, um, which I wanted. I wanted like a kind of contrast. But I feel like sometimes when I use it, it goes a little bit... Like it doesn't apply smooth. It looks kind of cracked. But it's a really pretty colour and what I do is I just... Oh no, I've just scraped it against it. What I do is I just kind of pat it in to like break up that like separation. This is a really pretty colour and it cost me quite a bit so I still want to use it obviously. And then I'm going in with the Too Faced lip injection. Well, that is me finished my makeup. What do we think? I feel like my under eyes haven't got the highest coverage that I wanted to and I don't know why. I don't know if it's maybe because I've added mascara underneath on my bottom lash line. I think it looks a little bit funny. But whatever, what we're gonna do about it. And also my skin, mm, we're not even gonna talk about it. <laughs> okay guys, I'm gonna show you what I'm actually wearing before we end this video because it won't be a really, it won't be a get ready with me if I don't show you what I'm wearing. I'm wearing a cropped corset type top that I got from In The Style, I think it was. I got it in my last haul um, and I really like it. it's really comfy and it's got like kind of exposed edges. I don't really know if that's what it's called. But I've paired it with a long line goody maxi skirt i think you would call it which is from plt i got it a while ago but it probably still be on their website um and i really like it and it is really comfy um i've not actually shaved my legs so hopefully no one's gonna be touching them it's a really nice day outside um if i've not already said um even though it's maybe a little bit cold but i'll be in the car anyway but um i'll probably paint it with my either my air force or my blazers um not decided yet and then i've also got my jewelry which is 
Pandora, Pandora ASOS and then I've got this little bracelet my sister got me for Christmas and I've got my Pandora charm bracelet on. I've also got my regular earrings that I wear like literally every single day from Amazon. I've got these little bracelet uh, necklaces that are from the top one here, the little heart is from ASOS and the bottom one is a little name necklace. It says Chelsea, which is my nickname. My friend Lucy got me who I'm gonna see in like 20 minutes so hi Lucy. And the sunglasses are from H&M. Ooh. Um, it's really sunny outside so that's why I'm gonna wear them. The first time bringing up the sunglasses this year. How exciting. That just makes me feel so good. But I'm gonna end this video here. Thank you so much for watching this video. Maybe it's a little bit long. I'm really sorry. I'm really sorry if the camera kept going out of focus as well. I literally cannot see what I'm doing. I'm filming on my iPhone. Hopefully for not much longer. And I'm also sorry if it's really dark and loud. But anyway guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, please hit the thumbs up button, leave us a comment below, hit the subscribe button if you have not already. I'd really love you to join my little YouTube family. I am really proud for the last eight months that I have been doing YouTube. Um, and if you've stuck around for that time, thank you so much. And if you show me any type of love, if that's sharing my content, liking my content, even commenting or watching the video to the end, I love you all so much. And yeah, I'll see you in my next video. Bye everyone.